Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ryan, and today I'm going to be reviewing a beer from the Brookville Beer Farm Blending, Farming, and Brewing Company. <laughs> and they are based out of Brookville, Maryland. And this is their Heigl Kultur. I had to look up how to pronounce that. It's an octopus. Oktoberfest beer. This is their 2023 version. I also had looked up what a Heigl Kultur is and basically it's a form of composting. Which, alright, you know, it's fall, you're talking about the leaves, composting, right, right on. So, Heigl Kultur Fest Beer comes in at 6% ABV. Also, so you know, this beer farm company was established in 2015. It does say drink fresh. However, there is no canned on date. But, 2023, alright, I'll let that one pass. <clears throat> Our brews are crafted with local and farm-grown ingredients whenever possible. Just as our farm crops fuel our brewery, the excess brewing ingredients enhance our farmland as we enrich our soil with compost from the spent grain out output from the brewing process, which puts even more uh, light onto the Heigl Kultur now. All right. Props to them. Yeah, absolutely. Give them props. All right. Let's bust into this bad boy. See what we get. Heigl Kultur. Here's a German name. As I said before, took German in high school, took German for four years in college, and I remember none of it. Heck, I barely remember. English. I'll bring this back a bit. There we go. All right. So that pours out. Yeah. When I hold it up to the light, a dark, dark orangish brown or brownish orange coloration. Uh, comes with half a finger of rocky khaki head, which is very quickly dissipating. And now it's pretty much just around the rim of the glass. Give you a close up here. Again, I'm using my, there's a nice yeah, smudge. Uh, using my new glass from Ryan Palmer. Uh, mentioned him a couple times, tagged him in a couple of my videos. If interested, go check it out. He has an Instagram post uh, or page called Toasty Glass. The O is a zero. Check him out. Really, really amazing artwork. Especially if you give him the, his creative liberties to do what he did here. Anyway, uh, let's get a nose on it. Nice. Yes. Uh, deep, rich, malty aroma. with a, a hint of sweetness. Touch of sweetness. Caramel. So, you know, with the dark roasty malts, I shouldn't say roasty, there's no roastiness in there. With the, the, the robust malt, remind me, reminding me more of a brown bread you have the caramel notes so it's kind of giving me this like brown bread with a drizzle of caramel on it a 
yep, that's what I'm getting. I'm not getting much more. Brown bread with a drizzle of caramel. But it is uh, a prominent, bombastic, I will say, uh, maltiness in your face. I like it. Diving in. Cheers. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is what I want from an Oktoberfest. Medium body. Gonna say it, it, it's smooth. It actually has a smooth mouthfeel. Mild carbonation. Uh, big thing for me now, getting in the flavor, is the the maltiness. Um, I don't know if this is you know necessarily true to the style, so to speak, but. When I think of Oktoberfest, Fest beers, Marzins, Marzins, however you want to pronounce it, um, I really like the, you know, give me that malt forward uh, flavor with that caramel notes. Um, I'm okay with that uh, touch of copper metallic note. Um, I understand, you know, that that's kind of the old school um, way of, of brewing these beers. And, you know, it actually adds a little something more. I'm okay with that. But this, this kind of really hits home. I want a lot of flavor. I want a lot of malty notes. I want a lot of caramel. You know, also when I say caramel, I'm not talking like over the top, you know, extremely sweet caramel. Not at all. Let me take another sip and I'll explain. That's nice. That is a, you know, dark brown bread topped with a caramel sauce drizzle and it's not hiding those flavors by any means it is in your face the brown bread really stands out you have that sweetness from this caramel you know it, it, it's this is what I want from this beer. Uh, I really hope there's another six pack left at my beer store because I'm going there tomorrow and grab one. I would drink this all year round. No doubt. 6% ABV. I mean you can't tell. It drinks like 6% but it, uh, there's no burning, warming, you know, anything in the chest. The mouthfeel is great. Smooth, slightly creamy. Very nice, gentle, smooth finish. All right, so Brookville Beer Farm, their Heigl-Kulter. I'm giving this a, I'm going to give this a four point, man, I'm giving it a 4.75. <laughs> I'm doing it. 4.75 out of 5. That's it for this video. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Comment down below. Have you had this, or what's your favorite Oktoberfest, Oktoberfest beer? Until next time, peace.